This is a Blizz ABS tutorial, video number 9. We're going to be covering setting up a projectile skill for the actor or actors and enemies. Okay, first thing I want you to do is go to your manual. We'll open up your project, open up your configuration program, open up your SBC file. We have a lot of changes will accumulate. Um, go to the manual, section 3.3.1, well, it's actually section 3.3 .3 cover skills. <coughs> We're going to be working with the uh, projectile skill. Um, right here, it covers the naming convention for projectile skill. This can be projectile underscore skill underscore one. Right below this video on the uh, site, you will see a link for a fireball sprite and I want you to download that and rename it to <coughs> projectile underscore skill underscore seven and uh, it doesn't have to be seven it can be uh, whatever whatever ID uh, you, skill you're using in the database um, but we're going to be using seven because that's already set up as fire in the database uh, if you click your database tab go to skills you see number seven is fire and uh, everything's set on it, you know, with an SP cost and uh, power. And uh, the scope is set up on the enemy. Uh, it's only used in battle. It plays an animation when it's cast. And uh, uh, target animation will show fire on uh, one animation. So that's good. Uh, we want to make sure that the actor is able to use this skill. So you go to the class tab and add it here. So. It does have fire starting out. A, another change I made is to this character we had over here. I added in a line that uh, basically says she's going to heal him or recover all. Uh, that way you can continue casting the spell if you're on the SP. You can go up to that person or not. Sure. Alright, let's try this out. Go to a new game. Escape in our setup, go down to hotkeys, select position one up top, select fire, escape, get number one to assign it. That, there we see it up there, and I believe M is our skill key. So you got an animation, you got an animation on the enemy when it hits. It doesn't go through walls. And we are out of magic, so. Up to here to refill. A little bit of knockback on that too, I think. Alright. Now let's add some for the enemies. Uh, to do so, we will. What we're going to do for the enemy um, so that they can use this skill, uh, we will use the ghost and uh, we're going to have them, we're going to assign them to combo. Let me check something. Are these enemy number one or enemy number two? Enemy uh, number ID number two, you can see down here in the bottom right corner. So we'll go to number two, and instead of being a bow type enemy, I'm just going to switch him back to sword. I'm going to have him use combo number one. So what happens is every time they attack now, uh, their attack will initiate a combo, and so they won't necessarily attack unless you set it up in here for attack but I'm going to have them use skill instead I'm going to have them cast fire I'm not sure if I need to wait to move completion and then uh, we go to action 2 change our maximum over here to 2 actions and action 2 will just uh, Abort the combo. File save, and just so you know, uh, enemy one now when they or enemy number two now when they attack, instead of attacking, it's going to uh, summon this combo, and the combo will cast a fire skill. And there's no renaming of the uh, fire skill required nice uh, generate a uh, configuration script copy to clipboard 
Make sure you save your changes to the SBC file. Go to script editor, control A, control V, apply, and let's see how this works. New game. And there's his animation. He shoot the fireball. Here's everything is working correctly. All right, that's it for this video. Um, next video, we will set up a boss battle. Thanks for watching. Bye.